hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe share and like my videos in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this simple booboo -boo dress i made use of an ankara print fabric which is two yards and i also made use of this small fabric which is called a crepe fabric so let's get started the first step is to fold the fabric into two equally and i further folded it into two again so i practically folded this fabric into four the reason I folded the fabric into four is to trim out both the front piece and the back piece at once. The next step is to roll the starting line, which will also serve as the shoulder line. I placed my tape on the starting line to mark the neck width, which is three inches. For a plus size person, you should use four inches. For the neck depth, I marked 1.5 inches which I connected to the neck width as shown. So later on, I'll trim out the neckline for the front piece. To get the shoulder slope, I placed my tape on the shoulder line to mark my shoulder measurement divided by two. And any other measurement that comes after that point would be for the sleeve length. I want my sleeve length to be nine inches. So from the shoulder measurements, I placed my tape horizontally to mark nine inches. And since a band will be attached to the sleeve M, you really don't have to make the sleeve length too long. Now on this point, I'll place my tape vertically to mark one inch, which I would connect to the neck width, and this will be the shoulder slope for this dress. To get the sleeve open, I place my tape from the tip of the shoulder slope to mark nine inches. For a plus size person, you can go as low as 10 to 11 inches. The next step is to mark the desired length of your dress. I place my tape on the shoulder line vertically and the desired length of my dress is 35 inches. So I added 1 inch sewing allowance to the M of the dress to make it 36 inches. If you want your dress to be longer than this, then you can increase the length to your desired length. To know the wideness of the body of this dress, I divided my hip circumference by 4 and placed it on the M line and added about four inches to an allowance but take note that if your bust circumference is larger than your hip circumference you should make use of your bust circumference instead of the hip now i would extend this line upwards to meet the sleeve opening line as shown and to conveniently secure the armhole i'll be making a curve to connect it this way now I went ahead to add half inch sewing allowance to the top of the shoulder slope in which both the front piece and the back piece will be attached together. The next step is to mark the neckline for the front piece. So I placed my tape from the shoulder line to mark 9 inches. I tape horizontally to mark 1 inch and connected it to the neck width as shown. So I separated the front piece from the back piece before trimming out the neckline for the front piece alone. So I placed the back piece on the front piece. To secure the shoulder slope by half inch. The 
The next step is to take the measurement of the neck opening. I place the measuring tape from this point. So I go to the opposite side of this other point. And what I have here is 27 inches. I added 2 inches to so an allowance to that 27 inches. So the length of my band should be 29 inches altogether. And the wideness of the band is 4 inches. So when I folded it into 2, it became 2 inches. To place the band on the neckline, I made sure I adjusted the band forward by 1 inch. Then placed it directly at this point. So I kept spinning the band so I got to the other end of the neckline. So I had to trim out the excess fabric on this side of the band because I realized that the extension was a bit longer than the other due to the fact that it's a curved neckline. I took this piece to the sewing machine to make a straight stitch starting from this point. So I got to this other point. So this is the band looking all nice and properly ironed. Alright, to make this unique square shape design, I have a fabric here which was cut out with a dimension of 10 inches by 10 inches. I would fold the side of the edges by half inch and take this to the ironing board to secure the fold. Alright, you can decide to leave the shape this way or make it more stylish. So what I did was place my tape from this angle to mark 3 inches. So I extended this line. So the next thing I did was to fold in this particular side that was trimmed out and use the pressing iron to secure the fold. Alright, so I went ahead to mark the midpoint of the end of this neckline. And also marked the midpoint of this little piece which I placed directly on the end of the neckline. Now I took this to the sewing machine to stitch the edges. Alright, so that's all for the neck design. For the sleeve band, I have the fabric here which is 6 inches wide and when folded together, it should have 3 inches. So I would place this on the edge of the sleeve opening to secure it with a straight stitch and cut out the excess after I've secured that. So I would also place the other band on the second sleeve opening to secure it by half an inch. After securing the band to the sleeve, I folded the fabric into two. Then I took this to the sewing machine to secure the sides by one inch, starting from the sleeve opening down to the end. The final step is to also secure the M of the dress by folding it in. Alright guys, this is the final outcome of the dress. It's looking so beautiful. You can improvise. Instead of using the black fabric, you can use a different Ankara print. Thank you very much. If this is your first time here, kindly subscribe, share and like my videos.